Hi, it's Chris Watkin here, and I'm with Matt and Neil Baldock, who are estate agents from Chelmsford, with their firm, Charles David Casson, and we're here to talk a number of t subjects today about estate agency, but in this video, I want to talk about why do estate agents get so hung up on likes and comments on their social media posts? Talk to me, chats. Um, I think because we feel the need to be loved. If you know, you, uh, traditionally as uh, certainly valuers um, and negotiators, we have this thing inside that we, we want people to like. It's, it's like you get 10 listings and you're happy, but if you lose one, it's the end of the yeah, world. It's, it, 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 yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's the end of still the world. Still hurts, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. No, it's, it's, it's still to this day does. Um, and I think that we live in a society now where everything seems to be measured by likes and followers you know there's there's, there's no than i know facebook instagram twitter um you get that little um shot of serotonin don't you so you look at your phone and if someone's liked a picture it makes you feel good about yourself yeah um because i always say to people what was your what's your most liked post in the last six months and i'll tell you exactly what the post was and actually they'll remember the exact number of likes i mean yeah yeah wow yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow the thing is, i think people forget it's not the likes that generally convert into the business. It's the people that are watching from the background. That's what we often find. It's interesting. You made a comment a couple of weeks ago on one of my posts, and you actually said that you do get business from your social media posts, but not the people that like and comment. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And we generally find, you know, we're part of a, a community hub in Chelmsford where we get thoroughly recommended on. But it's not always actually the person that originally asked for the recommendation who comes through with the business. It's people watching in the background um, we found that interesting to learn over the years. And, um, it's the invisible audience, I call it. Absolutely. Um, and, and, and it's difficult because, you know, we, we, you feel, making videos uncomfortable, I mean, you're obviously an expert at it, but, you know, you, and you encourage it in an agency, um, and it 100% works, there's no, there's no doubt about it. But you feel uncomfortable at the start, and then you do that. And well, you said, to, I mean, you guys are on video all the time, but you said, uh, when you came into the studio, I said, I feel really nervous. Oh, yeah, I didn't say properly last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, But now look at your flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. I mean, you must have it as well, Chris, because you're on video all day long. What, the, the likes but, and the comments? Yeah, yeah, and you're not getting enough likes on a video. How does that feel? It's funny. Um, over the years, I've learned that, um, and I can I let you into a secret? Yeah, sure. I, I, I still have wobbles. Yeah, yeah. But the, the gaps between the wobbles do get bigger, where you think to yourself, well, I'm not doing that much. I'm, I you know, have a, I've have not attracted that much business in the last couple of weeks. Um, and then you look at your videos and you've got, you know, the video views are down and the yeah, likes yeah. are down and you think to yourself, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. Well, it's funny because we, you often get one negative comment. And again, it goes back to sort of some of the mental health stuff we've been talking about. But that one negative comment can really knock you, whereas you're forgetting all the other business you've had yep. from it. It's because, as, as Ga I know you're a fan of Gary Vee, he says that um, when we put feedback on a pedestal, good feedback on a pedestal, because we all as human beings like to take it under our tongue, yeah. you know, the problem is, is that when you put good feedback on a pedestal, it means that you get negative, the negatives up there as well, and it really does not, especially agents, because they're people, people, and they want everyone, want everyone to, to, love to, to love them. Um, what I've learned is, is someone who does make a derogatory comment, they're probably actually talking about themselves more than someone else. Yeah, people are generally angry with themselves and want to take it out on, some, on, on somebody else. But, but what, what brought it home to me recently, so traditionally we, we kind of separate the social media into kind of two parts. I'll tend to put properties and my own ramblings and thoughts on there. And it was very um, good at the, the actual kind of the content, the land or stuff and that kind of thing. So predominantly um, when we list a property in a certain area, I put it in the, in the local hubs. I like to give the, lo the locals the chance to beat the Londoners to the houses, if, if you like. Yeah. Um, and then through lockdown, I just thought, oh, sod it, pick up the camera, and, I, and I've just rambled and, and tried mm. to put some goodwill out there in the world. And um, I went to do a valuation the other day in an area we don't ever get called out to. The, interestingly, it was a second property. They actually had another one on market with another agent. But when I got there, the lady said to me, um, oh, I said to my husband, you're the one that puts the properties in all the local pages. And he, and he said, yeah, and then I said, oh no, he's the one that kept moaning his hair was too long during lockdown. So they'd both been watching videos, but they'd never liked one of them, they'd never commented on one of them, but they still invited me out. So that's why I would say, for every one person that likes it, there's 10, 20, 30 people still watching it. And it's interesting that, that, that one of them went on the more personal side of you as a person, you know, with your long hair, obviously yeah. you sorted it out now. <laughs> and then the other one is, is the one that puts the properties on. And, and again, I think the magic thing is this, uh, is 
because I've seen your social media, it's not all about trying to sell someone something because people don't like to be sold to. They like to buy, mind you, yeah. like that couple there. The artist, as long as the intent is right, which is trying to give and help and educate and support, right. you might not get the likes, you might not get the support, you might not get the direct business, but there are people out there and you've proved it. Yeah, 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 they will come. And I think it's, um, yeah. Will it's they like, come straight away? They won't come straight away, but it's like going fishing and throwing one line out. You don't get a bite, and so you don't bother fishing for the rest of the day. Of course not, you're building up. You have to build up the bait, so you have to build up the content. Okay, but, but most estate agents, well, most humans are not very patient. How do you play the long game? How, how have you learned to play the long game? You, well, it's that, um, that, that famous saying, isn't it? You know, when's the best time to plant a tree? You know, 50 years ago or today. Um, yeah. And what, what we always explain to you is you're never going to get to a stage in your business like that where you're not going to want a property to sell. Um, thankfully, we've been going for a long enough period of time now, we've actually seen it trickling through. Um, so this week alone, Neil's had an incredibly big lead on a recommendation from a lady I did a free divorce valuation for six years ago. Um, and so and you, you just when you start seeing it happen, so at the start with our team, we have to, they have to believe us because we say it will happen, keep going. And then when they start seeing it happen, um, and it's about sharing the success stories, I think, as well. Yeah, you've just got to keep going. I can I can really remember that point. And I had the wobble. It's like we're putting so much content out. Why is this not working? And then one day, bang, and the gate's opened. And now we just get a constant feed of leads from it. And, and that's the magic thing is go out there, give great content, which is in a giving nature, selfless, not selfish. Exactly. And you know, there is no, there's no other alternative. You've got to play the long game in this world. Yeah. There's, there's, there's no app to, to, to build trust. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to be known, liked and trust. And we say that when we go networking, we say that when we're building a brand, um, you've got to get yourself out there, get recognized and build that level of trust with the community. And, it, and it's just ages, because without sounding like, you know, I'm, I'm 70 years old, kids nowadays, if you like, we, everything's so instant. So, you know, yeah, this, it's a shopping instant well, this, dating, this, this, yeah. this, swipe right for love. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, you know, this, this morning we, we wanted a McDonald's breakfast, you know, you go on an app, you order it, I can see when it's being made, I can see when the guy's delivering it, and everything is, is like that. Um, if a house is on the market for two weeks now, people say, oh, that's been on a long time, you know, three months. Six it's months from where yeah, we are. Exa <laughs> exactly. Um, and that's what, we've come to everything being instant, so it's difficult to remember the long game still works. It always, it's, it's the only game in town. Yeah. And as long as you work smart, hard, and be patient, you'll win in this world. Absolutely. Thank you for your time today, Charles. Thanks, Chris. Cheers, Chris.